I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your hard drive, your mechanical hard drive to an SSD hard drive on your Asus laptop. This one is a TP501U model. It, the model, it comes right at the back by the side. All right, I'm just going to go straight to the process. First thing first, you want to flip over your laptop. You want to remove all the screws and I usually use my iFix toolkit. I really love the bits on this one, they're really nice. They have a kind of magnet right there. Just sucks back, sucks in and it just don't doesn't come off. And I use a tiny magnet to keep the little screws not falling off. Alright, we're gonna remove the two screws at the corner front side. These are the smallest one. These are the small ones and the rest of the screws are in the same size. I missed one right over there. So you can see all the screws right there and the two tiny screws which are from for these two front end ones. Right. Once you open you all the screws, you remove them. You want to open your laptop in 45 degree angle. You want to get yourself a guitar pick. Or any opening tool, but I prefer guitar pick because it's kind of soft. It doesn't, it, you can't scratch it. It will, but if you do it too hard. And you want to shove it between the top and the bottom cover. And you're going to hear some clicks. And when you move it, make sure you didn't miss any screws. Do both sides. All right, once you got all this side in, almost loose, you wanna flip it over and in a position that you can actually see it. Now you wanna rip open gently, just like that, not too hard, because there's a two ribbon cables that are holding the top part together. So what you wanna do, you wanna hold it with one hand, just like this, and you want to remove the cable for the keyboard and the flex cable for the touch trackpad. And by doing it, you have to lift up this black cover right here, 90 degrees, and the keyboard one, 90 degrees. And it should come out very easy. Just pull it out, and that's it. And there we have it. You want to have your top cover, which is your keyboard and your trackpad. And down here, there is your hard drive, just the mechanical hard drive. Once you have your solid drive, this is a 480 gig solid state drive. I'm just going to show it how to replace it. I'm not actually going to leave this one in here. So you want to remove the four or five screws here. One, two, three, four, five screws. That holds the caddy. The screws are the same size, so don't worry about it. If it doesn't come out, use a magnet. If it doesn't come out, then use a tweezers. There you go. Once you got the screws removed, all you have to do is to pull the hard drive towards the battery. And then once you see this gap right here, then you can just go ahead and lift it up. You're gonna need this caddy to keep the new hard drive in place. So you have to remove the one, two screw on one side and two screw on the other side. Once you remove these two screws, you wanna grab the new hard drive, the SSD hard drive or the new mechanical one. And you want to put it in there and you the screws are going to match the holes right there and you're going to put it in place make sure you have the same way so you don't put it this way otherwise it will not go through there make sure you have to put it on the same way that your mechanical hard drives are they connected the SATA connector 
and the power connector right there. And let's assume that you have replaced it. You're gonna put it down in 40 right here in, in an offset position with the same gap right here. And you're gonna slide it towards the connector until the screws match the holes right there. And you're gonna put the four, five screws right back on. You do not need to remove the battery. That's uh, really not necessary to do. So don't worry about battery. As long as you power it up, you can work on it with no problem. Once you have everything connected, make sure the connector is in place, all the screws. And oh, also this tape right here, it might be right over where you have the connectors right there before you take it, so you have to rip this one off. So yeah. So you can put it back on 45 degree angle, keep it with one hand open, lift up the connectors, make sure it's 90 degree up and slide the cable, make sure the cable is clean. Slide that cable right underneath. I really don't like the way they made this. There we go. Once you have the ribbon cable all the way in, close it. Grab the ribbon cable for the touch trackpad or mount pad and close that one in. There we have it. Now, the last part is very important. You don't want to push down in the middle. You want to start from the hinge side, press down or pinch them. Do the mid top side, do the sides and the front. And do a recheck, go all around, make sure there's nothing else missing there. All right. Uh, if you can see, I missed this corner, so I'm just gonna pinch it. There we go. And the last thing is to put the screws at the bottom cover. So remember the two tiny ones, they go one in each corner in front side. If you put the big one, you're gonna just make a hole through the laptop. Through the top case, nothing is gonna happen. You're just gonna have a big dimple on the other side. All right, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys have any questions, comments, you know where to leave them. And I'm just gonna finish screwing this one in. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.